In this video, I'll show you how to kill with skeletal wyverns. You'll need 72 slayer to kill these, and you can kill them with any attack style you want. I'd recommend a minimum of 70 attack, strength and defense if you're going to be straight up meleeing them, 70 ranged if you're going to use ranged, or 75 magic if you want to mage these. If your melee stats are quite low, around the 70s, and you have 70 ranged or 75 magic, I'd strongly suggest you don't use melee, as you won't be able to get many kills per trip without safe spotting. The Skeletal Wyverns are located in the Asgarnia dungeon. The fastest way to get there is to use the Fairy Ring in your POH to teleport to code AIQ and run north to enter the dungeon. If you don't have a Fairy Ring in your house, your next best option is to use a Remington House teleport and run southeast. Once inside the dungeon, follow the path on screen now. If you are on task, you can use the Slayer only section up the stairs here, which is particularly nice if you're gonna be safe spotting them. Let's have a look at the Wyvern's attacks. They attack with melee and ranged attacks, which can hit up to 13, and they can also use a special attack called Icy Breath. If they use Icy Breath, you won't be able to attack for a few seconds and you'll take up to over 50 damage if you're not using the correct form of protection. There's a few shields to help protect against their Icy Breath. The Elemental and Mind Shield are two free options which are unlocked after completing Elemental Workshop 1 and 2 respectively. There's also three Bible Shields you can use. The Dragonfire Shield is a particularly good option since it's rather cheap and gives some good strength and defense bonuses, so great for when you're meleeing them. There's also the Ranged variant, the Dragonfire Ward and the Mage variant, the Ancient Wyvern Shield, but I can't see much reason to spend your money on these, as you can simply equip your free Mind Shield when luring them and switch to an offhand like a Twisted Buckler, Mage's Book or one of the God Books from Horror of the Deep. Skeletal Wyverns count as draconic creatures, so the Dragon Hunter Lance and Crossbow are super effective here. If you're using the Lance, you'll want to use the Pound attack style as they have strong stab defense. But if you can't afford these, you can easily get away with some cheaper alternatives like Whip or a Dragon Crossbow. I'll throw three affordable options that will work fine for you on screen now. Just make sure that if you're gonna be ranging or maging them, that your Slayer Helm is imbued so you get the added damage boost for those styles as well. You can of course upgrade these setups with gear like Bandos, Primordial Boots, Zenai Jewelry, Pegasians, and so on. If you're gonna be using Mage, I'd highly recommend coughing up the extra money for a Tome of Fire and some Burnt Pages, so you can get a lot more DPS with Fire Wave or Fire Surge, in combination with something like a Staff of Light or a Smoke Battle Staff. This will of course heavily cut into your profits, so if you want to make some money off this task, i just stick to using Ranged. If you have the Dragon Hunter Crossbow, the best armor you can use is actually Elite Void, so no need to spend your money on Armadil or whatever. The Bow of Ferdinand with full crystal armor is also pretty good here, just make sure you don't forget to switch to an appropriate shield when luring them. Now let's have a look at how to actually kill them. If you're gonna be using melee, it's very simple, just put on piety, protect from missiles, put on your other retaliate and afk here for a while. If you want to, you can kill them in the normie section, where you can set up a cannon to speed up the kills. If you're gonna be using ranged, this is by far the easiest safe spot to set up. Just take aggro from one of the wyverns to the west and attack them from the square right over here, next to Steve. Once you've got the wyvern safe spotted, you can switch to a better offhand like the cheap Book of Law for some extra ranged offense bonus. If you want to camp these off task, you'll of course have to kill them downstairs in the normie section, where there's quite a few of them roaming around. You'll have to tank their hits for about 10 minutes until they become unaggressive and you can start safe spotting them. While you're still in that aggro period, you should hit them from afar with Protect from Missiles on to take the least amount of damage. If you don't want to tank through this period, you can also just camp right here on top of the entrance for about 10 minutes and wait out their aggro timer. You can safe spot every one of these wyverns. They are pretty big, so they get stuck on pretty much every corner you can find. I like using this spot at the entrance. I usually mark a tile here to remember where I have to shoot from so that I'm outside of their attack range. If you're gonna be staying here for a long time, it's a good idea to bring a seed box to store the seeds, a herb sack to store the herbs, some elk runes to, well, elk the alkables, and the bone crusher to automatically bury the bones for you, so you can get the most out of your inventory space. The wyverns also drop some items that you can't elk or store in some pouch. This is where the wyvern CC clan chat comes in handy. I'm not sure how active the CC is nowadays, but you can usually find someone that will come over to you and buy your unstackable drops from you for a reasonable price. For the rewards, this is a loot from a pretty average wyvern task. You can of course extend these for 100 slayer points if you want to, which will yield you more profit per task. 
Most of the profit will come from the seeds, addy bars, magic logs and alcables. But hey, you might get insanely lucky and get a 1 in 10k visage drop. All in all, I really enjoyed this task. It's usually a short one to switch things up and makes you some decent money in the meanwhile. XP per hour isn't great, but I still give the wyverns a big thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I hope you all have a wonderful day. See ya!